What's going on everybody? It's the last day of June, can you believe it? June 30th, 2021, it's about quarter to four in the afternoon and it's a toasty 93 degrees Fahrenheit, around 34 Celsius. There's a piece of bark that fell from this tree. But let's get this walk started. I'm in Brooklyn right now on Avenue P and East 7th Street. Dwayne says it's 99 degrees Fahrenheit in Edmonton, Canada. 37 Celsius. Oh my gosh. We have some freaky weather going on here. I heard British Columbia and the northwestern part of the United States got roasted. Ronald says don't forget to hydrate. I will. I have a water bottle in my backpack. Right now I'm in the uh, Midwood part of Brooklyn on the border walking commuters here saying stay cool is too much for me you know I have to tell you something so I forgot my DJI Osmo pocket well it's not called the Osmo anymore the DJI pocket 2 camera which is the main one I use for walking videos at home and I didn't realize it until I came here so I said okay I'll just use my stabilizer along with my phone here and I'll make a walking video with this. And it wasn't even like 15 minutes into the walk where it said, shutting down, camera is too hot to uh, continue recording, wait till the phone cools. So I couldn't finish the entire walk I wanted. This was just using the regular camera app that came with the phone. I don't know how it's going to be with live streaming though. But we'll find out. This isn't the first time I've uh This isn't the first time I've encountered this kind of hot weather before. When I was in Florida, I used the same exact phone when it was like 90 something degrees out and I went for like 4 or 5 hours. It didn't shut down so that was kind of strange for me to encounter that but that was just using the regular camera app not the live streaming yeah walking commuter that's uh, with the Samsung um, Galaxy S10 5G the regular camera app Dodi says it's cooler now in Florida than where I am. Yeah. We're going through a big heat wave here. We'll find out if I could live stream for a long period of time without the phone shutting down, but we'll see. Cafe Logos is going to be all thunderstorms tomorrow. <laughs> well, maybe not because I was looking at the forecast again. And it looks like just regular rain now. That car owner has the uh, sun reflector on the windshield there. I found that those things don't really work. When you get into the car, it's still toasty inside, regardless if you have that piece of material on top or not. Jenna says, I'm so happy it's a Brooklyn video today. Yeah, I wanted to do a South Brooklyn video. I haven't been down here in a while, so. Why not come down here and check it out?
is produce on P because we're on Avenue P. LAC say they don't work because the sun's rays still go through the other windows. You know what does work though is before you get into the car, open the car door and then close it a few times. And works, what works even better than that is to open the other side. No, this is how you do it if you want to cool a car quickly. You open the window on the opposite door and then you start using the other door and closing it so that way the air is forced into that tiny little opening that immediately gets like a lot of the hot air out. Carl Howard with a $5 super chat, why that's not Fort Wayne at all, it isn't. And being on Avenue P means above all else I'm going to need money. Thank you Carl. Appreciate it. I'm getting the full sun today. Short sleeve. Cafe Logos. I don't know if you're joking or not. I uh, remember seeing it a few years ago. But open the window on the opposite door you want to close and then just use the door and keep opening and closing it. It'll cool down the car very quickly. Michelle French McGraw saying the fireworks are awesome. Watched my video this morning. Thank you, Michelle. Unfortunately, the uh, live stream from last night did not go as planned. But I was really... Um, hoping that it wouldn't disconnect there. Cafe logo says no hat, I'm gonna regret it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Davis says Dunkin' Donuts, it was right back there. That guy's got the right idea, sipping on a juice while riding their bike. JD Bambari, you love the thumbnail. Unfortunately, that's not the thumbnail I chose. It was uh, a picture of the Brooklyn Street, and I picked a different one. Well, the temperature just dropped like five degrees at least by going underneath this elevated train. This is McDonald Avenue, Avenue P F train station. Joe says, thanks for still filming the fireworks when the stream went down. You're welcome. And Nick, I didn't fly from Fort Wayne. It took about 12 hours to drive.
Loud, La Loud Labs News, New York City. You got gas there before. This one, right? Adam's the host of Loud Labs News and he does a lot of breaking news events, hustling from place to place. Yes, Ray Ray's, I rented the car. You know what, I've got an idea. Why don't we take the subway to Coney Island? It'll be cooler over there. Oh, sounds like the train's coming. We gotta rush for it. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Come on. You can do this, you can do this. This call swiping a metric card fast. Wait for me. I made it. Only six stops. That's what you call a New Yorker's rush. Oh, another train. Maybe I could meet Dutch Maz there. I could. If he's around. I don't know if he's going to be out there in this heat though. Coney's going to be scorching too. Oh, that's his train spill of bagels. I was just on Kane's Highway. B82. Yeah, Nick, the car's air conditioning. These newer trains, they work pretty well. This is Coney Island, Stillwell Avenue bound F local train. The next stop is Avenue U. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Oh crap! I missed my stop. This is my stop. No! No! Thank you, Steve Mazzini 238. Get something to drink, stay cool. Alright, man. I got a bottle of water in my uh, backpack already. Mighty Bowl at $4.99. Welcome home, AK for Austin Kid. Thank you, the Mighty Bowl. Nick says you would realize I was messing there. Yeah, I already said I was going to Coney Island. Gotta make the subway ride interesting a little bit, right? Alright folks, it's showtime, yeah! I can't do flips. I'm not that talented. Avenue U. I always found this avenue to be very tricky because it's like two syllables with the same spelling or pronunciation. Avenue U. Avenue U. <laughs> Sounds so weird. He better if it called it U Avenue. Why is it Avenue U?
loud last news I've ever been to me in between the two train cars before. I have, and I wouldn't want to do that. It's uh, a little bit daunting. Avenue X is next. This is the last avenue, lettered avenue on the F train. Terry Hanks, thank you for $4.99. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Avenue X. Avenue X. Maybe there's something X-rated on Avenue X. <laughs> yep, Adam, I get that too. Loud live news. Now we're gonna get into the uh, we're gonna get into the ocean and sea themed names now. Neptune Avenue, Mermaid Avenue, Surf Avenue, Luna Park. Uh, what's another one that's like? ocean themed around this Pony Island area. Um, hmm. Those are the ones I know off the top of my head. RK Travel, you uh, want me to go over to Diker Heights, Brooklyn? That's Pony Island Yard over there. You can see all the brand shiny new trains. The tops. Here's the Belt Parkway. Yep, we're in Pony Island now. We just crossed over the river. This is Neptune Avenue. Yeah, Ray Ray's. It's uh, the New York City Transit's biggest subway maintenance area. Pony Island Yard. Yeah. This is Pony Island, Dumbo Avenue bound, F local train. The next stop is West 8th Street, New York Aquarium. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Let's disregard the advice and stand near the closing doors. I'm actually standing over here. That was an optical illusion. The camera's closer than it appears. But seriously though, you have to stay clear of the closing doors because they delay a lot of things. It's dangerous if someone gets trapped in it. The lawyer asked me if I'm gonna get a hot dog at Coney Island. I don't think I am. Alex says everyone ignores those do not lead on door signs. Well, I have to say something. It is practical advice to not lean on the door, but these doors are actually pretty sturdy when the trains stopped or moving they don't really like budge if you lean on them so the q train which is upstairs f trains downstairs yep Loud Labs news. People like to hold the subway doors the last minute. I saw someone's clothing get caught in the subway doors one time and they had to stop the train there, get it untrapped. Alan Jameson, thank you for $5. Appreciate it. 
I saw you in Bryant Park while Winter Village was a thing. Wish you back in those times. Stay cool, friend. Stand clear the closing doors, please. Ding dong. Angela, thank you. For five dollars. Got a big bowl of popcorn ready to watch Action Kid. Appreciate it, Angela. I wasn't gonna be that dumb and get my foot trapped in the door. People are enjoying dancing. Well, at least the little kid was. Whoa. Oh, it's moving up more. Open the door. Exit is this way. Over here is no exit, only train transit. Wow, Night Boss reporting that it's 96 now. It's a little bit cooler here on the platform compared to be to the outside. John Rad 23 saying you enjoy watching my videos and playing GTA 4. Have I ever been to Cove Beach? Have I ever been to Kings or Queens or... Um, it's been a while since I played that game. Gosh. I remember the Long Island City Tower was named the LC Tower. But yeah, I played that game a long time ago. Oh, I think Manhattan was called Algonquin in that video game.
The most I remember from GTA 4 was, uh, Hey Roman, you wanna go bowling? You wanna go bowling, Roman? That was it. Alright, we are at the last stop of the subway. Wow, I'm smelling a lot of good food already. Katrina says, welcome to Brooklyn, stay hydrated. Thanks. I think Manny Explores, who's also in the chat right now, says he's in Coney right now too. A lot of people with beach wear now. Wow, this is what a Dunkin' Donuts truck looks like. It's a lot of donuts in that truck there. Oh yeah, it's definitely cooler at Coney Island compared to um, where I was in Midwood. It's a much better option to come here. Let's see what people are doing at the beach. Granted, it is a weekday. I think there's gonna be a few people out in the ocean, cooling themselves down. I don't think the amusement parks are open. Those are only open on the weekends, unless um, they did open it right now. Hey, you know what? The amusement parks are open. I just saw the Soren Eagle running. Yeah, the finisher. They are open, I see it. Come on, step by out to Coney Island, come on. Let's make it happen, come on. Let's go this way. Let's check out the attractions. Yeah, Eddie, after Memorial Day, they open it every day. I forgot about that. Last time I came to Coney, it was on a weekday before Memorial Day, and it was closed. Valley wants me to get some sand in my shoes. By the way, this uh, yellow and red roller coaster is the newest roller coaster to Coney Island. I don't think it's operational yet. There's plenty of music around here.
All right, I think I can uh, unmute this now. I don't think this is a song that's distinguishable, so we're good. Thomas Plunger's song name. I don't know what song name it is. It's a lot of music happening here in Coney Island. I don't know what's copyrighted, what's not. So, let's see. I think the Wonder Wheel is still... Okay, Wonder Wheel costs $10. I think it's one of the best deals in uh, Coney Island, Wonder Wheel. Here we got bumper cars. And you don't like riding the rides. I like the Wonder Wheel the best. Let's see how long the line is for the Wonder Wheel. I like to go on it. Hingo says hot enough. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Alex says, am I planning to visit Sheep's Head Bay? Yeah, I will. I don't know when, but... I like this one too, the Spookorama. Let's get 10 credits for $10. You love the bumper cars? The bumper cars are fun. I think we got to stand over here. Uh... Oh, look at that. There's like barely any line for the Ferris wheel. I prefer the stationary ones rather than the swinging ones. But the swinging ones are more fun. The stationary ones are better for a view. Wow. Emergency alert urging all households and businesses to immediately limit energy usage to prevent power outages. Woo. Oh boy. Everyone got the emergency alert. I heard it here. That sound is indistinguishable. All the way outages in Greenpoint and Bushwick. Uh oh. That's not good. You know what'll suck if I'm on the Ferris wheel and there's a power outage and I get stuck on the Ferris wheel. That wouldn't be fun at all. Oh, 
Patrick, you weren't going in the ride. Hi, one ride on the Wonder Wheel. $10. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. I just paid for the Wonder Wheel. Ten dollar fun card. We're gonna take the swinging one. I like the swinging one. Yes. What brand is your? It's called the Moza Mini MX. Moza Mini, yeah. Okay. I think this Wonder Wheel is worth it because it goes around three times. Hi. Hello. This one for the okay. swinging. Okay. All right. Swing. Yep. Follow the blue line. Okay. Have fun. Swinging, swinging. Go Gina says time to change 10 bucks. This ride actually lasts a long time. You know, I'm going to even turn the gimbal off because this thing gets kind of shifty. Alright. I just turned it off. Thank you, Bob A. $9.99. Appreciate it. You just pay for the Ferris wheel ride. Thank you. This is my car now. It's gonna load. Go, Gina. At least the lines are short. Yeah, you come on a weekday. Wait, I guess not. It's going around now. I'm gonna have to wait for a new rotation. Oh well. I guess I get on over there. Okay. All right, the red one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go in the back. I've always chosen the front, but the back's fun too. Got a nice leg room. I get myself in there. Actually, I don't even need this on. I'm the only one in the car. Here we go. I'm going to do face cam first. It's a pretty simple ride, right? Nothing to be afraid of. Ah, most relaxing view of Coney Island ever. Oh my gosh. Christian Hansen, thank you for $2. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, Christian. That doesn't sound good. What's behind me? 
What the heck? Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Man, I really felt in my stomach in the back. It's it's more violent in the back. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Oh man. All right, no more swinging, no more swinging. Front facing cam now. All right. You get a nice view of Coney Island right here. It's fun because this car looks like you're falling off. Man, the beach is so packed right now. Look at it. Wow. Coney Island is packed. Yeah, the swinging cars are fun. And there's Steeplechase Pier over there. All right, this car is going to swing now. Watch. It's a blue one in front of us. Oh, there's no one in it. Okay, we're not going to get a reaction then. But this is how it works. Look. Here it goes. All right, we're gonna swing, we're gonna swing. We're gonna swing. Ah! 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 Yeah, Lynn, Carla went up and had a blast. I'm not really that scared, I'm just screaming because of the effect. Look, we're like falling off, looks like. And you get a good view of the new roller coaster from here. This is gonna open July 4th, I heard. All right, we're back at ground level. It's gonna go around two more times get a lot of money's worth for this my reaction so funny that scream doesn't sound good all right I'm gonna do the scare thing now and be like a little kid who's never done this before I'm gonna close my eyes daddy I'm scared I'm gonna close my eyes Let's close my eyes. I'm gonna get a reaction here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's scary with your eyes closed. Oh, oh. Don't close your eyes on drops or things like this. Oh. 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 Oh, what's going on? Oh. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> no wonder why kids scream so much. If you close your eyes, it's worse. It's worse. That's why uh, I scream so much as a little kid, probably, because I close my eyes, or we've all closed our eyes on the amusement rides. So, if you want to scream more, close your eyes. I'm going to do that again. That's fun. I'm going to close my eyes again while this is happening. Yeah, people looking down there is miniature people. Alright, 
this one's gonna swing. All right, here we go again. When this one starts swinging, I'm gonna flip it and close my eyes. Oh, we got stuck up here. Oh, that's because they're loading people. We got a great view up here. You can even see Midtown and uh, the Financial District there. Oh, there's gonna swing soon. All right, we're gonna swing. We're gonna close my eyes. What the heck? Oh, oh. I want my mommy. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. It's terrifying with your eyes closed. You don't know when it's going to happen. real does it feel that scary like a roller coaster on your ride yeah I mean it's scary on a roller coaster if you close your eyes Rob the Vegas mail in five dollars come to Vegas and do the link and stratosphere rides <laughs> yeah that'll be pretty fun right me going to Vegas up oh, we're stuck up here again they're loading more people down there All right, one more revolution, and this time I'm not going to flip the camera. I'm just going to keep it frontal facing. Woohoo! All right. That was fun. Yep. Oh, it's only two revolutions. All right, let's wait for it to stop. All right. We are out of here. Oh man, I thought it was three revolutions, but it's two. Still a great deal. All right. All right, let's set this up on the gimbal again. All right, fun. Nick says, see me. Espio says, glad I digested my lunch. A dollar per play. I don't think I've even played this. Defend yourself with shots. Can I do this with one hand? I think I can. I don't even need two hands. Let me uh, try this. Oh no, this is not. Gosh. Uh, eight 
18 shots or 45 seconds, unlimited shots. Let's do 18 shots. We'll do it one-handed. Oh, come on. My dollar's perfectly fine. All right, we got a credit. All right, here we go. 18 shots, let's do this. All right. Where do I shoot? What the heck? Where do I shoot? The red targets? Is there something that's supposed to come out of me or what? The red thing? Oh, okay, let's shoot that. Oh, I see. So it makes the thing... I'm a poor shot, man. Now what's that supposed to do? This is slightly amusing for a dollar. Oh, I got that in one shot. Let's try to get that one all the way in the back wall. Oh, one shot. Back door, I got two shots left. Yes, I got it. All right. Maybe I'll be a good marksman. I was kind of confused what I was supposed to shoot at at the beginning, but... Hey, I got a lot of uh, animations to trigger with those 18 shots. I think that was worth a dollar. It amused me for a while. And here's the kitty section of Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. Unknown says I should do Rye Playland. Rye Playland. I think that'll be a good place to go. Rye Playland. Zoltar took his robe off and went to the beach. Yeah, Zoltar will tell your fortune for a dollar, right? Look at this. All the, uh, the merchandise sellers are out. Water guns, shovels, balls, umbrellas, cotton candy. Whatever you want. They even got lit up swords. You come here, you get your things for your kids. Bubble guns too. All right. So fun. And here's Coney Island Beach. Let's go this way, so 
I don't get into any trouble with YouTube copyright. Yeah, Mark, that's the parachute jump over here. It's a defunct ride, it's no longer operational. Loud last people like copyrighted music. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. A lot of people with ice cream today. That looks good, the grilled corn and the chicken kebabs. The restrooms are busy today. Dave is saying frozen lemonade great on a hot day. Yes, it is. Let's walk to the end of the steeplechase pier over there. If this was in uh, the east coast of Florida, you'd have to pay to go all the way to the end. But here in Coney Island, it's free to go to the end. Over there was like a dollar, two dollars to walk to the end. Uh, Dragon Munch asking if I think Coney Island is more for the tourists or the locals or it's a mix between the two. It's a mix between the two. It is uh, marketed as a tourist attraction a lot. And I get it. But for many New Yorkers, it's the most convenient way to get to the beach. I mean, it's the uh, last stop on the subway. You can't get any more convenient than that. And you just walk a few blocks and you're at the you. walk a few blocks from the subway and you're at the beach Scott says Rockaway is nice, but it takes longer. Yeah, the subway goes out to Rockaway too. The A train or the Rockaway Park shuttle. Or another way that many people get to Rockaway too is to take the Q52 or Q53 bus on Woodhaven Boulevard. That's my preferred method to get to Rockaway. It's easier. Well, those people are screaming loud. 
I think I'll need some water right now. I've been an hour into this live stream without water. You just have to sense it up school. Where's the button? It's a swing shot. It's a swing shot in the air. It's a swing shot. I know, I'm not swinging it. Ah. Uh, New York City water. You want me to go to the aquarium? The aquarium's on the other side. Not only that, but the aquarium's probably booked today. You need to make reservations online. Unless they uh, got rid of those capacity limits for the aquarium. I haven't checked yet. All right, steeple chase up here. Oh, Christian, you'd like to know when the Cyclone Baseball opens? Yeah, that's the, uh, the field right behind me. It's not open yet, though. Problem with steeple chase up here is there's a lot of music happening here sometimes. So I may have some issues. You know, uh, no one was asking him where the place was that you get paid to get on the pier. That was um, like Fort Lauderdale Pier, um, Deerfield Beach Pier. There's a great view of the beach over here. Despite it being a weekday, there's a lot of people out on the beach today. I mean, this is one of the better ways to spend a hot day in July in the summertime. You come to Coney Island, you don't need any air conditioning. Just sit by the ocean, relax, go in the ocean, cool down. Sometimes there's like uh, food vendors out here. This side of the beach is not nearly as crowded. Wow, it is so nice out here. No AC needed out here. Just enjoy the breeze. Uh, BX Richie won. Are they having the hot dog eating contest this weekend? I'm not sure. I'm guessing they are. 
but we don't know. Or I don't know, at least. Cutie said they did it last year. They did? I don't remember. It's a great pose. 10 out of 10 picture. All right, so the hot dog eating contest is happening this year. That'll be fun. July 4th, starting at 11 a.m. So that's happening this Sunday. All right. So we are way out in the ocean now on the pier. I'm gonna throw this out because it's useless. There's nothing on it. Those are some big American flags here. You know, I don't need to go all the way to the end. The view is better from this area where I'm standing. Yeah, Chris, it is a very nice photo looking back at the beach. I might even take a photo from here. go to the end. It's so nice on this pier. Let's zoom in. E Solo wants to know how I like my new scooter. I love the new scooter. A lot of people in the comment section don't like the brakes on it though, but that's the mechanical disc brakes and it makes a lot of noise, but it doesn't affect the functionality of the scooter. But understandably, the noise does get annoying if you're making a video. Take a picture. <laughs> All right, let's walk back towards the front. <laughs> You know what? Maybe I am feeling a Nathan's hot dog. 
since I'm here already, right? Let's go get a Nathan's Coney Island hot dog since we were talking about it. And uh, since the Fort Wayne Coney Island dogs are on my mind, I can compare Coney Island's like official hot dog with the Fort Wayne Coney Island famous hot dog. Because I put up a review on the Fort Wayne Famous on my Action Kid Extra channel and I said it was better than Nathan's. Let's see if that's still true. LY is saying, isn't the hot dog like $6? It might be. I'm only going to have one though. Katarina, you didn't know Brooklyn had a beach? This is the most famous beach in New York City, Coney Island. It's not my nicest rated beach in New York though. That would have to go to Rockaway. But Coney Island's good for the amenities, the amusement parks, and the ease of getting here. David says, looks like a real summer day in July. I mean, July is just right around the corner. In about eight hours or so, we'll have July. So it's not that far off. I don't think um, we'll have any issue with that. Marino's Isis. Uh, we're going to have to mute this here. Yeah, the Puerto Rican flag there. They're playing um, music there and dancing to it also. Ice cold water. No thanks. I still got a whole bottle of water in my backpack. You want me to show the ballpark, all right? Thank you, Bob A, for 9 dollars Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Another $9.99 from Bob A. Thank you.
That's some loud music. It's even all the way over here. Plus it's above my hair. These are lights. The Coney Island Cyclone ball field is over here, but it's kind of hard to see with this fence in the way. NYC skates, no denying that, it is hot here in New York. Feels like the music's just following us. Jody, you don't know how I walk in the heat. It's doable, you just gotta uh, pace yourself. Yes, Bob, I'm going to the original Nathan's Hot Dog on Surf Ave and Stillwell Avenue. So the ball feels to my left, but you cannot see it. It's all boarded up. I mean, there isn't even an opening where I could sneak my camera in to show the ball field. Loud Lab News, NYC. Watch out for the tip-stealing lady at Nathan's. Yes, I saw that. Oh my gosh. She was so brazen with it too. And even one of your viewers approached her asking her why she stole the money from the counter and Nathan's with everybody watching. And she was like, oh, it's because I'm pregnant or something. So that excuses you for stealing from Nathan's hot dogs? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, can we see the ball feel from here? Somewhat, we can. So this is what it looks like. Police car coming through. Here it comes. The cop should really have the siren on the whole time instead of doing weep, 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 weep. It's like keep it on so people can hear you. Anthony BKNY718-499, try the frog legs. You know what, I have tried the frog legs here. They taste like chicken. They're really good. Yeah, B. Griffin, I did reveal why I was in Indiana on the live stream I did last night. Nathan's Hot Dogs, only one block away on the corner.
Yeah, LLN. That was the first crime you caught live in front of you, right? <laughs> Lowest level of crime. Alright, let's hope no one else steals tips from Nathan's today. There's plenty of outdoor seating here. The line is longer at Nathan's than it is for the Wonder Wheel. Oh, I guess we can just join any line here. How does this work? Which way? Please remain social distance. Please enter here and then you got like walk up lines over here. So I'm not sure how this works. I mean, I'm guessing you gotta stand there to order first. Uh, I'm just gonna line up here. If they say no, I gotta line up there. That's what I'll do. Yeah, the lines are so confusing. Throwback Thursdays, Nathan's, five cents. Oh my gosh. 5 p.m. to closing. Okay, so uh, here it is. Uh, world famous hot dogs. 475 for the original. Cheese dog is 535. Chili dog 535. Chili cheese all 575. Bacon cheese all 575. The one I had in Indiana was a dollar 80 something after taxes. So you're paying like more than twice for the hot dog here. And I think they put the toppings on for you. Bob says original with mustard and onion. That's what I'm gonna do because that's the closest to um, the Coney dog that I had in Fort Wayne. I wanna give it a good comparison. I don't wanna use the chili dog because even though there is chili sauce on the Fort Wayne Coney Island dog, or the Coney dog they call it, they call it the, the Coney sauce instead of chili, but I'm just gonna get mustard and onions because that's the closest thing to the Coney dog. Uh, Lisa, that's in Loud Lab News NYC video. He's in the chat room right now, talking. Wow, look at that. They got the premium shakes too. $5.99 for that. Ice cold drought beer. Coney Island Mermaid Coors Light. You know what I'll do? Oh wait, I can't. I was gonna record myself eating the hot dog, but uh, I don't have the other camera with me, darn. Too bad. It would have been a perfect opportunity to do so. It's taking a while even though it's a short line. So um, I know what this line is. That line over there is for like fries, burgers, cheesesteaks, 
Over here is just hot dogs, fries, onion rings, cold drinks, and beers. But if you want to get something more substantial, you got to go to that side of Nathan's. That's how they do it. There's also the plant-based hot dog. He's solo, I'm not gonna be live at 6 even if it's raining. I'll probably be on the subway already, to be honest, when that happens. I don't have a uh, rain gear on me, so. I don't see any tips being stolen today. Someone's making noise out there. You know, I think I might try a uh, Nathan's Hot Dog review. I'm gonna make another video while I'm doing this live video. Here we go, watch this. So I'm recording, right? What's up everyone? I'm at Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs in Coney Island. Even though I've been here millions of times, I have not done a proper review of these hot dogs on the channel. So I'm going to order a Coney Island Nathan's Famous Hot Dog and review it and let you know what I think about it or you can see my reaction. So that's recorded on my iPhone. I'll just put it together when I get back home. Recording a video while I'm doing a live stream. I mean, I'm not going anywhere anyway. It's uh, waiting in line Oh look the toppings are already outside I guess you do have to ask the onions though Andre say, why don't I take the clip from the screen? You know what? I don't think I'm going to put it up. Man, the other line would have been faster. Peace and love. Thank you so much for 10 bucks. Appreciate it. Peace and love. Thank you. We got to wait in line for a hot dog. And we got to pay money for it. $4.75 at least for the original. Not even sure if taxes are included in that price or not. I could always switch lines. being held up on that line too so we're all stuck yeah. 
you know which line is still ridiculous to this day? The Harry Potter store. The Harry Potter store, I heard it's got like three, four hour waits. And if you're not lined up by like 10 a.m., you won't be able to get inside the store at all. All right, here we go. Hi, one hot dog, the original. That's it. All right. So it's 517. All right, thank you. All right, got the Nathan's hot dog, four seventy-five, and the tax was forty-two cents. Let's see how long this takes now. Thank you. Do I get onions on this too? Ah. Oh. All right. There we go. Thanks. All right. So remember, folks, the onions are not on the condiment table. All right. You know what? Let me do this because I don't want to get it all messy. Just put this down and do this the right way. Okay, we got this just mustard and onions. And we'll bring it to the shade, hopefully. Yeah, there's plenty of shade over there. Is there gonna be music though? That's what I want to know. I don't think so. I don't hear any music. All right, here we go. Coney Island, Nathan's Famous. Oh, there is music, but I don't think it's loud enough for it to be. Here we go. Uh, better. Nathan's famous Coney Island hot dog. All right. Let's try this thing out. I already know how it's going to taste, but... Coney Island hot dog. Mmm. Mmm. So, so good. Ooh. That beef rank is meaty. Much better than the Coney Dog at Fort Wayne, the meat. But the toppings are better at the Fort Wayne Famous. Mmm. This is good. So, so good. Can hear the music? Uh oh, let's mute it then.
All right, my hot dog is finished. All done. My rating on this is nine out of 10. Let's go throw this out. The beef Frank in the hot dog is much better than the Fort Wayne Coney dog. But the toppings on the Coney dog are better. But they use raw onions instead of cooked onions from Nathan's. So just be aware of that. I've also read that the Fort Wayne uh, Coney dogs, the Coney dogs originated from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, you're right, Ruby. It took longer in line to order than it did for the um, eating. Let's cross over here. There's some new stores that opened up across the street. I want to check them out. The Nathan's hot dogs are not cheap though. Five dollars for a hot dog? It's pricey. Scott, you like the fries? Fries are good too. Dean said it's cheaper than the ballpark. Yeah, they are. Noisy boy with five pounds. Thank you, Noisy. Appreciate the support. Thank you. This uh, food place is open now. Annie Ann, Cinnabon, Red Mango, and Carvel. Let's go in. Because I want to see what this place looks like. It's like four things in one. Wow. It's a huge place. Smells like heavenly in here. Annie and Cinnabon. Let's go to the back. Wow, that was pretty impressive how they fit in all those places in there. There's also this spot, cold brick oven pizzeria. Here be bars here. It's uh Coney Island, Brooklyn now. I just had a Nathan's famous hot dog. Grand opening 
Texas chicken and burgers. And there's also a Taco Bell cantina here. Coney Island has a lot of new eating places on Surf Avenue. They're all open now. Last time I came here, they looked like they were about to open or Taco Bell's here. There's also IHOP that's open now here and Starbucks. IHOP is an acronym and stands for International House of Pancakes. There's a $6 menu, happy hour, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day. I can go in there right now and get a $6 meal at IHOP. Oh, Bordy's saying there's a new restaurant or a fancy restaurant farther down above the same building as Starbucks. We gotta look at it. This space is all available. Adam Nobby with $5. Nathan's hot dog is on you. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. There's the famous Coney Island Cyclone. Costs $10 to ride. And they do not allow GoPros on it. The last time I tried to ride with the GoPro on, they didn't let me. POV uh, depends on the ride. Sometimes they allow roller coasters, allow the uh, cameras, some don't. So here's the new Starbucks. Also, the restaurant on the second floor, Terraza Restaurant and Lounge, is open. Hey, here be bar, $9.99 Super Chat, stay cool. Thank you, man. Appreciate it very much. It's a hot one today for sure. Let me also check out the aquarium because we're here right across the street from it. If they're booked for today, then uh, I won't be able to get in unless it's past closing time. Let me see. I don't even know when it closes. New York Aquarium closes soon, 6 p.m. Oh. Forget it then. We're not gonna have any time to see anything. But you know what? Let's just go take a look anyway, because I'm curious what's going on there now. Yep, must reserve time tickets. So not only is it almost closing, but we don't even have time tickets. You know what's pretty good though? There is a 
gift shop here that's pretty nice. walk through the parking lot yes yeah, Simon I'm gonna walk by the aquarium but I'm not gonna be allowed in we need time tickets now it's one of the most annoying things now because sometimes you don't know when you're gonna be in Coney Island and then I say oh let me pop into the aquarium now you actually have to plan it out Genevieve DC with a dollar. Thank you, Genevieve DC. Yes, Scott, you do have to pay to get into the shop, which is annoying too. One time I just wanted to go to the shop. Dora, am I close to the beach? A few steps away from the beach. Yeah, they've closed their uh, windows now. They're not allowing anyone to go in. $27 to go in. There used to be a um, a vending machine here for ice cream, but I don't know what happened to it. But you know what? Since the ice cream machine is not here, my business is going to this Marino's Italian ice vendor. I think I'll get either watermelon or lemon. Yeah. Simon says mango for you.
what I've got to do for YouTube. I move away because it's copyright music and then I go to another bench, someone else sits next to me with a beatbox. So, <laughs> all right, coconut ice cream, uh, ice. I got to eat this because it's melting, melting, melting. All right. Gosh. Great flavor, ooh. Mmm. I got uh, seven dollars and change back. So it's three dollars for this ice. It's so creamy. This is the best ice flavor. Ooh. Don't rush it and get yourself a brain freeze now. I'm not rushing this. I'm gonna slow my pace of eating. Delicious. Oh, Mikey, that's right. Tomorrow, if you go after 5 p.m., Nathan's hot dogs are five cents. A super chat um, from Adam Nambi, your favorite flavor. Thank you. It's a great flavor. <laughs> the bottom is mostly water now. It's that hot out. Just want to finish this before it all melts. Let's this out now. How am I surviving in this heat by being smart? I took the subway, went to Coney Island by the beach where there's a breeze, got ice, drank water. That's how you survive in the heat. And uh, let's wash the stickiness from my hands. I just used the water fountain. I 
I guess I can just go. All right, hands are clean now. There's one area I didn't go to yet, and that is the actual beach itself. So let's go. Let's walk on the beach. Um, I'm not discussing my medical history on this live stream. I don't even know why it needs to be brought up. Some people are just too nosy and need to know how to respect their personal space. Mandy says we need a live stream and chat etiquette. I mean, you know, it's a lot to do with manners and how people were raised and I'm not that kind of a person who opens up everything about my personal life. That's not me. Some things need to remain private. You don't need to know my shoe size. I don't want to get to know you that well. Unless you're related to me or I know you very well. This goes almost all the way to the water. This is the last thing I uh, need to do here in Coney Island. Let's go to the beach. Let's walk to the water. Yeah, forward, I'm going there now. She's happy to go into the water. Gerald, you heard Canada's border might open July 21st. Hope me and Johnny Strides get to do a collab. Canada has been talking about opening up the border for the longest time, but every time it gets close to the 21st of every month, they keep extending it. So that's one of the most annoying things there is, the US-Canadian border.
Coney Island Beach is lit today. All right, we're almost back to the boardwalk. That was a nice little walk onto the beach. All right. Let's shake the sand from my shoes now. I don't think any got inside the shoes. The sun seems a lot stronger now today. Chris, go to Brighton Beach next time for some Russian food for dinner. I've done that plenty of times. Really great place if you want some great food, Brighton Beach. This place here, Coney's Cones, I've eaten here before. It's pretty good. A dollar water from these fine people. Mike, you're saying thunderstorms later are coming.
By the way, there's another Nathan's location over here. This is uh, right on the boardwalk. Same company as the one on Surf Avenue. Maybe this line moves faster than the one I was on. I think the prices are the same. Let's take a look. Yeah, the prices are the same exact. Same. And they even have uh, hamburgers and stuff you can order here. Chicken sandwiches. The other one does too, but that one's the longer line. There's so many people here today. Let's walk Stillwell Avenue. I would say that So far, so good. This thing hasn't overheated yet, and I've been in this sun the whole time. Wow, they got even more stuff over here. Zeppelis. And grilled corn. Up oh, here we go. Well, that looks scary. Yes, Marjorie, this is Coney Island. That was a scream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo. Kayla Carter asking me what my shoe size is. It's uh, this L.L. Bean hiking shoe, large. That's how my, that's how long my shoe size is. Zoltar speaks. Very, very, very bien. 
Make your Eat wish two dollars. You know, I don't think I've ever used this thing before. Let's put in two dollars. Let's see. Make my wish. Represent Queens. Going crazy in Queens today. Excellent. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, brother. You did time. You did work on the bar. You put in just about a minute and 30 seconds. That's excellent. All right. Time. We congratulate you. Let's see if this thing's a ripoff or not. I don't even know what this does. It's just five bucks for the kids to play. Just five for kids to play. All kids receive. Water can missing, water can chase and only class is playing at every all part of the town that we do. Who's going to be the next one for today? Step right up, step right up. Who's going to be the next one for today? Step up, step in, we're going to get ready to win. It is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved. Create your destiny wisely, my friend. And surrender a bit more wealth for more instruction from Zoltar. So that was it? Oh, he's going to take care of you. Angel's going to take oh care of you. Oh my gosh. Angel has got you covered, my brother. That's Angel's more gone. like advice uh, rather than your fortune. The opposite side. We got Sam <laughs> from Cleveland. Yeah, I know. This is Custom one of the worst like, machine placements ever. Here sure. it is. You can't even. I didn't even know what it said. Yep, that's two dollars wasted. But hopefully, I've saved like the thousands of people watching this live stream from ever putting two dollars in Zoltar Speaks. So there's that. The more you know, right? Zoltar said, give me your money. Indy Fernie with one euro ninety nine. Thank you so much, Indy Fernie. Appreciate it. Luna Reina with five dollars. Thanks for the tour, AK. You inspired me to explore more of your area and check out Coney Island. Oh, nice. And H, right bracket, $2. Is it legal to go between cars on a bicycle? Yes, it is. Thank you, Luna Reyna, Indy Fernie, and H, right. Thank you so much. Zoltar says, pick me and put me in a better spot so you can actually hear me. We had the uh, the attendant there calling out his uh, his slogan, and you couldn't even hear Zoltar. So, I'm gonna get back on the subway because I've had enough of Coney Island now with this heat. I think it's time for me to go back. I think I'll stay live streaming until the signal cuts out on the train. Mandy saying I should stay hydrated, drink water. Yes, thank you very much for that. Adam Nabi, your two dollars. I'm supposed to make a wish to Zoltan. Zoltar, I did.
We are going to take the subway. I bought an unlimited Metro card. It's coming in handy now. That's how you swipe the Metro card. Not the stupid thing I did. And he says just go to the J's jump it. Not advisable because the cops are right here. Some great subway action here. Passengers, it says. It's a noisy train station. That's the Q train. Wait, end train on two track going over Q. This is two track. So we're just gonna go over the Q. Doesn't matter as long as I get to Manhattan and into Queens. Don't matter to me. Mike R with three dollars. Camera model, water temp, unlimited metro car. Um Hello? Whoa. Samsung Galaxy. No. No? Yeah, no. They no, said they no. said Two track Q line. Oh, no, oh gosh. What is I mean, worst that can happen, they just take everyone off and the other train on the other side is gonna come. <laughs> but uh camera I'm using Samsung Galaxy S10 5G water temp, I don't know what it is, and unlimited metro card. I have a weekly unlimited right now. Adam Nami, seven dollars. Great live stream. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Worst comes to worst, I get free air conditioning. That's all. Laurie, she said, no, no, no work, no work. But I trust the speaker on the platform better. End train on the queue line, track two. Or two track, they said. Hi, time Gregorio with two Brazilian Real. Thank you so much. Love your content. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Big Apple mask.
Yeah, exactly. CI 310, as long as they don't lock me up, right? By the way, this is a company that did the mask. Attention passengers, this is a Q train. This is a Q train going over the Brighton line. This is a Q train. The foot arm, I mean an entrance, will be across the platform. This is a Q train going over the Brighton line. So now it's a Q train instead of an N train. This is when the subway's got identity issues. Sometimes the F thinks it's a D, the D thinks it's an F, the A thinks it's a C, the N thinks it's a W, the Q thinks it's queer, the S train thinks it's uh, really bad, E train thinks it's excellent. Whatever, N train, Q line, they both go to the same tracks in Manhattan anyway. I can always switch in Manhattan to the right train to Queens. Yeah, Cafe Low, maybe powers. I may get stuck on the subway, right? Here comes the end train now. I think. Yes. Go. 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 That's Q, other side, no, no. This is really the end thing. Back to the string. Oh well. <laughs> Watch it come back again. No one's here. I don't know which train's leaving first. All right, let's switch trains. Fine. This is the real end train now, without the identity crisis. Even though that says it's the end train. It says 4th Avenue on that display there, but we know it's not going over 4th Avenue if it's the Q train. Uh, let's switch trains again. Whatever. They can't change the display because it's built into the train. Not like the uh, the R160s. 
We'll take the one with the identity crisis because I like it better. Oh, this is an N train over the Q line. Why don't they just call it a Q train until you get to a certain stop and then it's the end train. All right, here we go, folks. This is the end train, but it's not the end train. It's actually the Q train. Here we go. It's the real roller coaster ride of New York. And we got a great view of Coney Island here. I knew it, the train with the identity crisis is gonna leave first. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. <laughs> Shaky said there's a better ride than the Ferris wheel. Oh yes, forever. The F and R now use the newer Japanese brand chain, Kawasaki. Don't know why the N is using the older ones. Well, the train sets of the R train were mostly transferred over to the N and Q lines because they needed the newer train sets to prepare for CBCC on Queens Boulevard. That's why. So the N train, the Q train, they got stuck with the R43s, but it's fine, I like these trains too. As long as they run, right? Next stop is Ocean Parkway. Not only does this train have identity issues, but half the door doesn't work. Remember folks, this is N train. Astoria it says. This is not the Q, but we're running over the Q line. Fourth Avenue Express. We're definitely not going Fourth Avenue Express on this train. The tracks don't even go there. Even this train's had enough. Here you can see this Coleman standard. Cornell 1990. This train's over 30 years old. Alright, we're on the local track, so this train's gonna go local. Even the conductor's confused. He's not even announcing what train this is. He's like, next stop's Brighton Beach. Who cares what train it is, right? As long as you know what the next stop is. <laughs> He's given up. What do you call this train? End train running over the Q line, or is it really just the Q? Diane, I am having fun. Next stop, she said thanks. Next stop, Sheep's Head Bay. The chimes don't even work on this door. There's no ding dong on this car. This 
So uh, let's go to New York City Transit's Twitter feed and see what's up. This is the best place to uh, to see delays on the subway rather than the MTA.info site. Right here. Expect longer waits in northbound B, N, and Q after a cruise move a train that had its brakes activated at West A Street, New York Aquarium. Okay, so maybe that's why they're, uh, ooh. What the heck is going on? For uptown service in Manhattan, consider taking an R or W. For service to from Brooklyn, consider taking D or N. What else? As long as it gets me to Manhattan, please. Yeah, be it express. Yeah, no, you make that. I grow big. Stand clear. Stand clear, that's right. Oh, we got a door stopper there. He's holding the closing door. Bad on you, shame on you, man. Shouldn't do that. Conduct this hat. Stand clear. You gotta hear them when they really get angry over someone holding the door. Like, guy in the rear, stand clear. Marty Lewis, thank you for the tip about checking the Twitter instead of their website. Yeah, Twitter is more reliable. I find that they're really on Twitter a lot more. We're gonna get passed by that train now. Oh! It switched. Now it's actually the queue. I guess it's really the Q train now. Well, the chimes work on this side. I gotta plug in my charger. The screen dims, which means the battery's low. Heck, I don't even need the gimbal anymore because I'm on the train. Let's take the gimbal off. Five percent battery left.
considering we're in this heat, it's not bad. Now, this is how it really is on the subway without a single one. thunderstorms that are scheduled to come. Hey, Jason Rupp is here. What's up, man? Jason's got a unique YouTube channel. Seems like he goes around to different places and gets services done really interesting concept. I like it a lot. trip on the new ferry. There's a new ferry? I didn't know that. The brakes are really harsh on this train. Avenue M. As in Mary. We're in Midwood right now. Stops Avenue J, aka Defara Pizza. A lot of people rank it as the best pizzeria in New York City. Avenue J. Avenue H. Brooklyn College is very near the next stop. Yeah, Lynn, it is uh, mandating to wear a mask on the subway. We want to see the outside, all right. Let's go. You can see people's houses.
first stop is New Kirk Plaza. LR, we are moving pretty quickly on this train. Faster than I thought. And there's the local train too. Well, we got By the way, the thing about this priority seating thing, I noticed a lot of differences in culture when I went to Taiwan with their metro system. These seats here, even if the train was empty and there were seats available, people would never sit on these seats. Over here, if the train is full and like these are the only seats available and there's no people with disabilities, Hopefully this is the third time I explain and it won't buffer anymore, but when I was in Taiwan, these priority seating seats would never get sit on even if the train was full and there was no one with disabilities or elderly. I think it was more of a cultural thing. But here in New York, if the train's full and these are the only seats available and there's no one elderly or disabled, these seats will be taken. Beverly Road. When we get to Prospect Park, that's where the signal might cut out. This train is definitely faulty. It had identity issues too. There was an N train, I thought it was a Q train. Diane's gonna go. All right, see you, Diane. Take care.
Loud Lab News. There's an older train and newer ones are here. Pre-recorded messages train over here. The conductor speaks. Sometimes can't even understand them. Some of them are bad. It's like this stop is. Next stop is. Stand clear. Hold your ass, please. <laughs> At least this one, the air conditioner is working and it's running. One time I rode on a rerouted C train that passed the real C train. So it was kind of weird seeing the, the right train while we were on the rerouted train. It's incredibly odd. Prospect Park's next. And after the next stop is probably where the stream's gonna cut off because there's a long tunnel between Prospect Park and uh, 7th Avenue Station. Mike, yeah, it sucks when you go into a train car with a broken AC. I've had a one train that had like four cars with broken AC. It was like one out of the one after the next.